These are the top stocks you need to watch this week before the market opens. All right, let's take a look at the ones that we set up last week. For first one that we had was Apple. Now, Apple was an easy play. It had a 90% chance win rate. I see this, this kind of pattern all the time. It was showing a triple top. It had a hard time bouncing above right here. Got rejected again right here. And then as soon as Apple got right here, we, I told the disco, I said, hey, guys, we're going to go in. We're going to sell puts on Apple. And right when the market, oh, I'm saying like over market hours, we couldn't even go in and buy options. Apple opened up way down here. I was like, dang, man, we missed out on this play. That would have been such an easy play. When I play this play 10 times, I always win around nine, maybe eight of the 10 times. And that was just such an easy play. And we missed out on this one, but it's all, it's all good. Another one that we had was Amazon from last week. Now Amazon, we did get in on, we had to be very patient on this one. Amazon kept playing within this channel and we had a divergence on it. I told you guys about divergence in the last video, the, uh, the price is going up while the RSI is going down, the relative the relative strength index is going down and once it broke down below we stayed patient but we don't enter right when it broke down below and closed below we waited for that pullback to have an even higher chance as it says playing the pullback it pulled back to this red line and then that's when we got in and then we had a two to one risk to reward ratio and we actually hit that one and then another one that we had set up last week was DraftKings DK and G now, DraftKings was also a divergence play. You guys could see the price was going up while the RSI was trending down. It broke down below right here. And then you guys could have got in for an easy play that I told you about in the last video. Now, some of the ones that we did hit over in the Discord, you know, we had put in a leap on AMD a little while back. We're up 21 percent on that and then on the 100 dollar moo moo challenge we actually came in and we played a tesla play we played the first five minutes of this candle one two three four five we drew a high and a low it broke out and then we played that pullback like i told you guys it pulled back and then we put in a two to one risk to reward ratio and it actually shot up and then we got out around 40 percent gain but someone actually got out at 100 percent gain inside the discord so if you guys do want to get in on the $100 Moo Moo Challenge, that link to Patreon is going to be down in the description. The Patreon is taken to my Discord. You have access to my option trades where I sell options and collect premiums on that every single week. My option plays in the $100 Moo Moo Challenge and access to my, D, my three pro day traders. And in the month of October, just in the month of October alone, I have a seven-day free trial on the Lucid Dream of Rose. If you guys just want to test it out, go ahead, click that link in the Patreon. That's going to be down in the description and pinned comment section. But looking at my pro traders, they, they let me go to where they've been killing. They actually be killing SPY up 1,000%. MRLV up 103%. PayPal up 121%. And then he came in and put in, he did another spy, went up, going up with 11%, 16%. And then he actually did a unity play on here. Let's find that one. Here we go. He put in a unity play. He said, we're going to put in a, a put on unity. And then unity ended up going 200%, just like he said. And then another one that's been killing it is Chuck Fu. Chuck Fu. Chuck Fu had put in one play right here on AT&T up 90%, $450. Here's another one that he put in on PayPal up 108%. Percent, I mean, up 70%, up 339 dollars. So, my pro traders just be killing it in there. But let's take a look at stocks that we're going to be looking at for this upcoming week. At right, the first one, we're going to look at is ticker symbol CLX. Now, this is Clorox. Now, Clorox, we was playing it inside of this, this wedge pattern right here. It was shot up and it was staying within this wedge all the way to this price point right here and then it hit this quadruple top you know and i tell you about the triple top now this is the quadruple top one two three and four yes some of it broke a little bit above but it had a hard time staying above that it didn't even close above this top so one two three and four we could have went in and put for a put right here but as you guys can see it is making lower lows it has a low right here a low right here and then a low right here and at the same time on the RSI is making higher lows. This is the low, a higher low, and then a higher low. So it's a clear divergence right here. So I do think that CLX could use this 200 EMA as a strong support line. It's gonna use this as a strong support line and continue to trend up at least, at least if we set a, a, a good risk to reward ratio and get in around this area right here and have a short stop loss right there we can have a good all the way back up to the top of a five to one risk to reward ratio so if we play this play five times and we just win once then we should come out in profit with a five to one risk to reward ratio and with our short and if it was to get stopped out right here and 
Clorox will still continue to break down. We will wait for it to have a pullback and then we could play it back down to the downside. So if we do get stopped out, we got a plan. But either way, that's the thing with trading. You could trade it to the upside or you could trade it to the downside. The next one is Meta, aka Facebook. Now Meta <laughs> did have a downtrend line in the divergence of the price going up. Right now it's at the very top of the trend line. We're gonna be patient and wait for it to fall all the way to this trend line. But if it breaks above, it's gonna be super bullish and it's not gonna be any stopping it. If it breaks above this and continue to push up, there's not gonna be any stopping that is gonna probably blow through the roof even though the RSI is super oversold. That's why I'm looking at the RSI is super overbought. My apologies, it's super overbought and it could continue to pull back because it's overbought right here and then break this downtrend line. If it does break this brown trend line, downtrend line, if it does break this trend line right here and then have a little pullback back to it like right there, then we're gonna play it to the downside. The next one we're gonna look at is Google, ticker symbol G-O-O-G-L. Now Google, as you guys can see, I love playing divergence. It is trending up, clear, trending up, right? And then if we look at the RSI, at the same point, we can see that it's trending down. So right here at the same on, what, September 24th, we can put it right here, it doesn't matter. But right here, it is trending up, and on the RSI, it's trending down. So we're gonna be patient and play this one to either way. So we're gonna be patient and play this one. So if it does fall, we're gonna catch that fall all the way back to this, this old support line of around $160 to $158. So that is one that we're gonna keep on our charts. If it continue to trend up, that's fine because we have shares of Google. We'll be making money from Google, but we're gonna play the pullback if it does pull back. So even if Google does take off and we don't put an option trade, we're not missing out on money because we own shares of Google. Now, the last one I'm gonna show you guys is ticker symbol RBLX, Roblox. Now, Roblox is in, <laughs> it, it blew straight through both support lines that had drew out. It traded here kind of sideways, came down and it's traded here and then it, it shot down. Now, it is in a downtrend. It's, making lower lows and that is what i love to see when when stocks make lower lows or higher highs and it had a low right here let's zoom in a little bit okay here we go it had a lower it had a low right here went up had another low went up low went up low kind of shot up and then a low so this is making lower lows so we kind of want we could be a little risky right here to pull back to this zone that we also drew out and back to this trend line and then enter a, a short right here. So we can enter a short position somewhere around this area, have a short trend line, a little bit above that one, and have a two to one risk to reward ratio. And that would be us entering around this price point right here and selling right when it had got back to its recent lows. And it's showing a pattern of making lower lows. So it should blow below this lower low right here if we was to get in on Roblox. Now, if Roblox opened up way up here, we're gonna just stay out of it. If Roblox opened up way down here, then we probably missed it. That's why you guys probably need to be a part of the Discord so you can know exactly what we're doing with these stocks. So that's it, guys. That's the top four stocks that we're probably gonna day trade a little bit, maybe hold them for a week, maybe hold them for two weeks inside of the Discord. If you guys want access to the Discord, join the Patreon. It's a seven-day free trial. You're really not missing out on anything. Yeah, you can use the whole community for seven days free for the Lucid Dreamer role. Why not try it out? It's only for October only. I promise you, after October, you, you won't see no more free trials because people have been using it and, you know, you know they come in and they get everything they need and then they dip. So if you're just going to come in and get everything you need and then dip, go ahead, hit that thumbs up button and help me out. Hit that subscribe button if you're going to do that. And share it with a friend. Share a video with a friend. Any of my best videos, share it with a friend. If you're just going to come in and use the seven-day free trial and then dip, that's fine. That's why it's a free trial. But at least share one of my videos while you edit. But yeah, guys, that's the top four stocks that we're looking at for this upcoming week. Make sure that you stay tuned and subscribe and subscribe to the channel so you can see how these options kind of played out on if we hit or missed on some of them. But other than that, guys, I'm Zeke bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.